is Paul Gallant against Chris Terzievsky. Chris is sitting here over to my left. Chris, uh, welcome to Sydney. Can't wait to see you in Newcastle over the next couple of days. Um, it's been a reasonably quiet build-up so far for a Paul Gallon event, not too much back and forth. How have you enjoyed the promotion, though, of a big pay-per-view event, a main event television event brought to you by No Limit Boxing? Um, thanks for having me, mate. I'm really enjoying the experience. Um, thank you again to No Limit for putting us on. Uh, it is an amazing show with um, star-studded talent, so I'm very grateful to be headlining this. Um, I think everyone here is going to be giving up their all in Newcastle. That's what we're looking to do as well. Now, Paul Gallen has been reasonably outspoken in saying that you are soft. He's used a few other phrases as well. Uh, what's your response to that? Yeah, look, he's definitely said a few things. Um, for me, you know, my co one thing my coach has said is the emptiest drum makes the loudest noise. You know, he's been saying a few things, but um, I've got no feelings towards Gal, good or bad. You know, for me, um, I've got a job to do. I want to be disciplined. I want to put on a show for the Newcastle fans. And ultimately, I think if I can conquer myself, control my emotions, I'll get the job done. You've obviously seen uh, plenty of Paul Gallen, as we all have. Um, what is it about him that makes you so confident in this fight? Um, again, it's not so much about him. It's about my ability. I'm confident in my ability, what I can do. Um, I've trained diligently for this. Um, my coach put together a great game plan, so I want to stay calm, calm composed and execute when you visualised uh, winning this fight, how does it go down? Um, I see it going a few ways, you know, like everyone knows, you know, Paul's shown time and time again he is tough, but um, I heard Mike Tyson quote the other day and he said, this isn't a tough man's sport, you know, this is a thinking man's sport, and a tough man will get really hurt real bad in this sport, so toughness is a great quality to have, but if you've got ring smarts and good ability, I think that's what's going to get me the win. And what would a victory mean for you? Obviously, you're defending your Australasian heavyweight title, but it's also an Australian heavyweight title fight. And um, there's a lot more on the line with the exposure that a victory would bring. What uh, would it mean to you? Yeah, again, mate, I'm super grateful. I'm riding this wave, you know. Um, George Rose and the other Rose boys have given us this opportunity on this platform. So I'm going to try and take it with both hands. I think, um, yeah, I get this win over Paul Gallen. It's the start of my journey. So. Like I said, man, I'm going to leave it all out there. You know, he's going to do his best, I'm going to do my best, and may the best man win. Do you think you're going to have to engage with him at some point in this fight? Are you confident you can box and move throughout these 10 rounds? No, 100%, mate. There, there is going to be moments, um, just like you know, it's a 10 round fight, you know what I mean? So there's going to be times, there's going to be pendulum swings. Paul's going to have his way at some moments, and I'm going to have mine. The objective, obviously, is I have more moments than him. So. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to do his best. I'm under no illusions. He's tough um, and he comes to bring the chaos. It's my job to control the chaos, strike strategically and survive efficiently. And that's what we're looking to do. OK, thank you, Chris. Now we go to our main event fighter on the other side, Paul Gallen. 14 career fights, 12 wins, a draw and one loss so far in his professional boxing career. And what a sporting career it has been. Um, you're pretty good at reading opponents, Gal. What do you see? in Chris here today and throughout the build up to this oh, fight? No, man, I'm just, I'll, I'll first of all, I want to say, look boys, I'm really proud and grateful to be headlining this card. I think I looked the other day, there was only 10 losses, uh, sorry, four losses between the 10 fighters. This is the best card I've ever been a part of. So to headline this act and put you guys on the show means a hell of a lot to me. But one thing that's frustrated the crap out of the last 20 minutes sitting here is, I've heard three or four blokes say about the publicity they're gonna get at the moment. Now, that, that's my job to provide a platform for them, to, to provide publicity, to get them out there. Chris has done nothing to sell this fight. Nothing, not one thing. Didn't turn up to a media the other day. There was more media at the media day the other day than the NRL Grand Final. Didn't turn up for it, didn't fit in his schedule. So I'm not going to sit here for one more minute and fucking promote him. But I've got one thing to say before I go. Chris, you're a pretty boxer. You are a pretty boxer. But Wednesday's not going to be pretty. It's going to be ugly, it's going to be a street fight. And I'm going to bash you. I'm not here to play for one more second. Chris, do you have a response to that? We haven't seen that before from Paul Gal. Ah, uh, good on you, Paul. That was real staunch, mate. Um, again, <laughs> you caught me off guard with that one. I didn't expect that. But um, good on Paul. Like I said, you drink out of much, you don't fall into him. So he can do what he wants. He can bring the fight. 
and I welcome it, so fair play. Well, there you go. I think we'll end the press conference there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming along. We'll see you at tomorrow's weigh-in at midday at the Civic Theatre in Newcastle. But, of course, uh, it is on Wednesday night that all the action goes down. 6.30 on Fox Sports, then 7pm on main event pay-per-view, available via KO or Foxtel. We we're going to have a face-off uh, between our main event fighters, but Gal's gone, so we won't. I'm Ben Damon. I'll see you at the fights.